Yo, good morning. So the first thing I'm always doing when I wake up is taking a cold shower. I've been doing this over three years. So this is what I'm gonna do right now. So right now it's uh, 4.52 in the morning and I'm not gonna meditate which I have been doing I think for two years now and I've been doing it with the app Headspace if you don't know it's a paid app but I mean it's the best investment you could ever make but uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now I have uh, agreed to meet a friend on uh, a quarter past five so I don't know if I'm gonna make that because I have to meditate visualize journal I mean, I'm probably not going to make that, but I'm just going to start meditating now. So do this in your own time. Open your eyes when you're ready. So right now I'm going to do some visualizing because it really helps you, me with focusing on my goals. Normally I would do 15 minutes, but since I'm a bit late, I will do 10 minutes. I just set an alarm on my phone for for 10 minutes. Right now, I have one last thing to do, and that's journal. Now, when I talk about journaling, I mean just a page. Oh, wait, I'm gonna show you real quick. So, in the morning, I will do some writing, and here I'm gonna write down my goals. Then, I'm gonna write down the habits, and in here, I wanna write down the, the things I have to do today, and in the evening, I wanna write three things that I'm grateful for and this page and this page is completely meant for the journal so I'm just gonna do one little page of journaling and I wrote something down already but it's just whatever comes to your mind so that's what I'm gonna do right now so I just finished all my habits I'm just gonna wrap some quick meal and cook some rice from yesterday that I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna grab some raw milk as well some raw milk for after um, after the gym, so I'll see you guys at the gym. So the gym right now, this is a cardio because I'm training for a, for a marathon. So I really got to do a lot of uh, fucking biking for recovery as well. And later in the day, I'm gonna do some running as well, of course, for training for a marathon. So that's that. I'm only gonna do some cardio and then uh, I'm gonna go to work to office. Yeah, this is my office. I shared with um, two other guys. One guy is also doing YouTube, just like me. I saw him at the gym this morning, but he just uh, he just left because it was already finished. And um, there's some other guy, and uh, he's making he's, he's doing filmmaking. So I shared with two guys the office. It's pretty chill to have an office, so that you can just work from here and not from home. I have worked from home in the past and I mean sometimes it's chill but you also want just a place that you can use solely for work, right? And so that's what we have with this office, it's an amazing office, like we have a lot of space. I can uh, make some coffee right now. Yeah, we can do anything here basically. And it's also cool that you have two other like-minded people around you. That you can ask for advice, they can ask you for advice help each other if you're stuck in anything so yeah I'm very grateful for that having this office Emma. so this is the other guy this is the guy I share office with his name is Aaron so, bad. so that's the other guy he's Gishuls <laughs> he's, he's drinking some raw milk right now huh? like always Gishuls is the raw milk guy <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> all right now I'm, um, I'm working on a video I'm gonna upload today <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? And uh, I'm giving you, I'm giving you guys a lot of value right now. I'm really focused on giving value.
So this morning there's a lot of fucking fog. It's crazy man. Beautiful mm. morning out here in the Netherlands. Huh? Gotta be grateful for nature. So we just found some pears right on the street. Two euros. Yeah, they're kind of low child, man. Crazy man. So it's it's very misty right now. Crazy forest. We're out here from the Netherlands, as you can see. We're, we're just uh, visiting some nature right now. Like where, where we're living, there's a lot of nature. So I've just recorded a video about purpose actually. And I've done it in the, in the garden we have at the office. You see there, over there is the office, somewhere behind there. And we actually had the great, great, great opportunity. And I'm so grateful actually for this that we could actually turn this place of abandoned land into a somewhat garden and I mean we haven't been catching up as much as we wanted to you see there's some cardboard and we wanted to put on some dirt on this put on some soil under this but I mean we were one we were too late in the growing season and two we didn't have the time or the money to do it right but we did something some things like for example we have built this I mean, pretty good pond, right? It's a pretty good little pond with some with some uh, frogs in there. We've made it ourselves, and I mean, we're really proud of it. Like, I will put a picture of it, uh, how it looked like a month ago or one and a half months ago. But it's, I mean, it's thriving. It's full of life, man. And it's even those little things that will actually give you joy in life because you're doing something for those frogs. You're doing something for the nature, right? Over here we have fucking zucchini plant I mean it's kind of done now it's September so it's not really giving as much and fruits aren't as big the same with these ones this is a, a bell pepper or actually a sweet pepper plant some other pepper plants I mean it's something but it's not really a lot right but maybe we'll do it next year maybe we'll do it a bit better we have more time more money and we're early in the growing season I mean and we don't really have any excuses left, right? Or maybe we won't be here anymore, but I guess we'll see. By the way, this is a pumpkin plant. I mean, I actually fucking love pumpkins, man. Not just like the pumpkin of the taste. I mean, I, li I like the taste, but I actually love growing it. I don't know why, but I love growing it so much that it's crazy. It's like a hobby for me. So because I'm waking up early right now at 4.30 or even before 4.15 sometimes, I've but vitamin D, I think, uh, I mean, it helps if you're not getting as much sunlight as you want to, especially since we're going into the winter as well. So that's why I bought it. And I'm lately I've been feeling a little depressed, like since, because I've only been doing this um, early wake up of 4.30, 4.15 for three or four days now. And so I've been feeling a little depressed for some reason. So it might be because I don't have enough vitamin D but it could also be just because well probably sleep deprived probably it's that but I thought why not try it right so I don't think I've told you properly what I'm doing and what my mission here is because what I'm doing is basically I'm making videos all kinds of videos these kind of day in life videos but also other videos I want to want to make the world a better place that's what I want to Eventually, I want to do that by giving people a sense of meaning in their life. Giving people a sense that they need to have help the world make it a better place. Right? The same thing I'm trying to do basically. And I'm doing this by my YouTube and as well by my community. I can show you real quick what the community actually is. In this community, I do have different kind of uh, programs different kind of courses and I will do some weekly calls as well and really this community is just made to help you get the productivity that you need help you get the body that you need with the with the workout plans and also help you get success but more so success in in life success in health and happiness and well of course success in money will come but basically that kind of success is more important, at least in my opinion, than any other success. Because you gotta feel happy, you gotta make something 
of your life. You gotta do something in this world, right? So another way to do it is by guided meditations. I have a lot of guided meditations. I will do some more so that you're just able to think clearly, be calm, be more happy, listen to other people, these kind of things, right? And I have a full transformation challenge as well as the poison free diets, which really helps you set you up for success, like focus, happiness, as well as just health overall, like don't get fucking cancer and have a healthy gut, these kind of things, right? So I am aware that it is $22, it's $22 a month, but I did this for a reason, right? I did this because I want people to be committed. Earlier I have made the community for free, but I just found that people are not as committed as if you ask for a little money. Now, I don't care about the money really. If I have enough, I, I would just buy some fucking forest with it or whatever, and buy some fucking land uh, and basically spend it on a good cause, right? Because I think in the end, that's part of life, right? You gotta help the world. You gotta do something in the world. And so that's what I'm really striving to be here, to be just as best for humanity, best for the world as I can. And so should you. You're, you were just saying to me that like, consistency is key, right? Yeah. So, what are you gonna do here? Uh, I'm gonna record a video. What? Like, like the same as yesterday? Uh, yeah. So guys, you heard it, consistency is key. Right now, I'm going home. I mean, he's a very hard worker and I'm sure he will make it. I finished my uh, my running session. As you know, I told you uh, this morning, I'm training for a marathon. I'm four weeks out and I basically started at five weeks out. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but you gotta train every day. So I ran six, seven kilometers today. I don't know what that is in miles, but as you can see, I'm not faking it guys, really. So we just ate a very healthy meal. We ate some uh, sourdough, so the bread with some eggs with some fucking minced meat, some meat, some sauerkraut, grass-fed meat. So I just finished my whole day. I brought my friend back home. We ate together the meal I set before. Let's see, it's eight o'clock right now. I don't know if you can see it. It's eight o'clock and I have to get up at 4.30. I'm going to bed now and whoa. I mean, I'm, I'm terminally sleep deprived, man. Like for real, like I've been doing this for four days now or five days, waking up at 4.30. And since then I haven't really gotten one good night of sleep. So I'm hoping it's gonna be tonight, the good night's sleep, the best night's sleep. I mean, it's just getting in that rhythm, right? It's getting, getting in that flow. Eventually it will come. Eventually I will get a little bit more rested, but for now I'm really just sleep deprived. Anyways, I'm going to the gym tomorrow. Good night.